Welcome to this next lecture. This lecture deals with DC series resistive circuits and it's just using a single resistor. After this one we'll start to get into multiple resistors and therefore we're going to get into more calculations to figure out exactly what's going on in the circuit. This one here is more to just give you a bit more of a grounding in uh, finding unknown values and just using your calculator a bit more and also just understanding Ohm's law uh, just that little bit better. So let's do, deal with the first circuit. We have our power supply, negative down the bottom, positive up the top, going through our single resistor. If you recall, the power supply we label as VA for voltage applied. The resistor is R1, and later on we'll have R1 and R2. There'll be multiple resistors. For your reference, we'll put up the Ohm's Law triangle over here, V, I, R. And in this case, the two values I'm going to give you uh, the value for voltage applied just as we had before and we'll make that 20 volts and I'll also give you the value for R1 I'm going to make it 1.2 K ohms. So the unknown in this case is current. How much current is flowing from negative to positive in the circuit? Well in order to figure out current we need let's cross out current there, we need voltage divided by resistance. What is the voltage? It is 20 volts what is the resistance? Well, that's 1.2K. Oops. 1.2K ohms. Hopefully you can remember that K means 1,000, so we could, we could also write this as 1,200 ohms. However, I still want you to get into the habit of using engineering notation. Let's put this into the calculator. We have 20 volts. Our circuit resistance is 1.2K, so to get K, it's exponential 3 to give us the 1000. So it is 1.2k or 3. And we're getting 16.666 and it keeps recurring um, to the negative 3. So the negative 3 hopefully you can remember means milli. If it was negative 6 it would be micro. And we're going to round to two decimal places so we would get 16.6 and then the next digit is a 6 but the digit after it is a 6 which means that it's going to round it up to 7. So we're going to write in 16.67. If this third digit was less than 5, then we'd leave this second one here um, just as it is. So 16.67 milliamps of current is flowing in this circuit. All right, let's do another circuit. However, we're going to make the unknown something other than current. Let's say we know what VA is, and we're going to make that 17 volts. I'm also going to tell you that the current flow in this circuit is 5 milliamps. What therefore is R1 going to be? Let's look at our Ohm's Law triangle. We need resistance. We know voltage, we know current, but we have no idea what the resistance is. Therefore, to find resistance, it's voltage divided by current. Let's put that into a formula. Resistance equals voltage divided by current. What is the voltage? It is 17 volts. How much current do we have? We have 5 milliamps. Back to our calculator. 17 volts divided by 5 milliamps. How did we write that in? Well, we've got 5. How do we get milli? Well, that was uh, exponential change sign to get negative 3. So 5 exponential negative 3 is 5 milliamps equals 3.4 and then we've got a 3 there so that means that it's 3.4 K. So just remember the negative 3 means milli, the positive 3 or the 3 without a sign there means K. If it was a 6 it would be meg, if it was a negative 6 it would be micro. So the negative means we're below the base unit so less than 1, um, or sorry, less than 0, I should say. And if we're dealing with positive, then we're, we're greater than the base unit. Okay, so this resistor must be a 3.4K resistor. How about we double check our answer? How about we do this? Current equals voltage divided by resistance. The voltage of the circuit is 17 volts. The resistance of the circuit we just calculated to be 3.4K. This theoretically should give us 5 milliamps of current, but let's just double check to make sure. 
17 volts divided by 3.4 and to get K it's exponential 3 and we get 5 milliamps. Give yourself a tick as long as you got that. <clears throat> okay, let's do another one. This time I'm going to give you the current and the resistance. So we have a power supply, however we do not know what that power supply value is. So voltage applied is unknown at this point in time. Resistor 1, I'm going to make that, let's go something a bit lower, let's go 330 ohms. The current flow in the circuit, let's say that is uh, 38 milliamps. Okay, therefore, what is the power supply voltage? Well, we need voltage. Let's cover that up over here in the Ohm's Law Triangle. It's going to be current multiplied by resistance. Voltage equals current multiplied by resistance. The current is 38 milliamps. The resistance is 330 ohms. Let's bring up our calculator. 38 milliamps, so 38 exponential change sign 3 to get 38 milli and we need to multiply that by our resistance which, which is 330 ohms and the power supply is 12.54 volts twelve point five four must be our power supply voltage alright so there's a few examples there Again, it's, it's not unlike something that you haven't seen before in one of the previous um, voltage current resistance or how to use your calculator lectures. However, this one just finds a couple of other unknown values that we hadn't actually done before. So make sure you um, perhaps study this, download the PDF if you want to have a look at that. And there's going to be some questions coming up. So do some study and hopefully you can pass those questions. Look forward to the next lecture because we're going to have two resistors in that one. And then the one after that will be three resistors. Thanks for watching. See you next time.